my name is Grace Calkins and I use she, her pronouns. I'm a senior aerospace engineering major here at UT Austin, originally from Lenexa, Virginia. I chose to study aerospace engineering because I love the exploration and discovery that comes with the study of space. I always loved looking at the stars as a kid. I remember sitting on my lawn, getting completely eaten up by bugs, looking at shooting stars and the ISS overhead. Um, and when I was in eighth grade, I did the summer academy with NASA Langley, where I got to learn a lot about Earth-focused satellite missions um, and go out there for a week. It, it was a really fun experience. That program sparked my interest in the engineering part of space, not just the like looking at stars part. Now that I'm here at UT, I love that aerospace engineering is interdisciplinary. We use electrical, structural, mechanical, all kinds of engineering applied to a common goal, whether that's designing a spaceship or building a plane. When I was looking at schools to apply to, first I googled the best aerospace engineering programs in the country and I applied to a bunch of them because I really wanted to keep my options open when it came to decision time. Uh, so when it came down for me to make a decision, I decided on UT mainly because I wanted the diversity that a big state school like UT has to offer. I could take classes from any number of highly ranked colleges, the business school, the communication school. I was really interested in classics so I added a Latin minor. So I could take all these different classes here at one place and still be at one of the most highly ranked aerospace engineering programs in the country. The, another reason I really wanted to come to UT is that UT is in the heart of the city of Austin and there's great food and music and hiking. And that was a bonus for someone from a small town like me. first week as a freshman, I went to an event called Gone to Aerospace that the department puts on where about a dozen or so aerospace engineering groups presented on what they do from building planes to drones, to rockets, uh, to satellites. I quickly joined the Longhorn Rocketry Association and I got to build and launch my own rocket within a semester. And after that, I joined a bunch of other aerospace engineering orgs because I loved the hands-on experience that I got from LRA. I joined the Texas Spacecraft Lab and I worked on payload design and also satellite communications. And I also joined the Texas Rocket Engineering Lab or TRELL. Uh, right now, I'm the director of engineering for TRELL, which means I manage all the technical progress of our lab to make sure we have solid designs for each component and also make sure that every component in the rocket will still serve the mission goals when they're all put together and integrated. Right now, TRELL is working on building a 30 foot tall rocket to go to 100 kilometers, which would beat the current collegiate record by about 30 times. So it's a really exciting project to be working on. Um, when I started in Trell, I was a sophomore. I knew absolutely nothing about fluids, very little about engineering even. I had taken physics at that point. Um, and within a semester, I was working on designing the valves and tanks and the system that would feed the propellants through the rocket into the engine and propel it forward. So I learned so much on my own within a, just a semester of being in one of these organizations. My first summer, I decided to study abroad. And so I did a Maymester program through UT in Freiburg, Germany. It was a really awesome experience. I would highly recommend it to anyone who can. Um, if you want to go for a semester abroad, it's great to start with a Maymester just to get some experience. And I learned a lot there about engineering from a global perspective. Uh, so how the entire economy of the world and all the interests of all the different countries play together in designing uh, better products for the world. And that's really important in a multidisciplinary, multinational uh, sector like aerospace engineering. summer after my sophomore year, I got an offer to work at NASA Langley Research Center as a hypersonic air breathing propulsion test engineering intern, which is a mouthful. But basically, that means I got to design, build, and run a test facility that tested a system that turned powdered fuel into liquid fuel by flowing gas through this bed of powder. 
that technology was being developed one day to hopefully be used in ramjet engines on Mars very, very far in the future. And being a part of something that could potentially explore another planet was completely awe-inspiring and amazing to work on with just two years of engineering experience. The summer after my junior year, I got another opportunity to work at NASA, but this time at the Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena. Um, I worked virtually due to COVID-19 on the Europa Clipper mission, which is a deep space mission to explore an icy moon of Jupiter called Europa. So I worked with Mission Planning, which is an operational team that coordinates the activities of over 11 instruments and subsystems on board the spacecraft so that each can perform their necessary activities. Just to give you some scale, a lot of missions only have around like four instruments. So this was uh, at least two times more than a lot of the missions people have worked on before. Um, I wrote code that will be used while the mission is in flight to process data from Clipper and plan her next move. So looking at what we've done and going forward, um, that my code will be able to be used on that process. Working on these internships has been a really enriching experience um, because not only have I learned new skills from working for these companies doing these internships, but also I've gotten to apply everything I've learned in class in a real world setting, which is very cool to see everything coming together outside of the classroom. My advice for future students is to try everything. I was really afraid of failing or uh, being weird my freshman year, so I stayed within my comfort zone for a while. I wouldn't go to events or activities because I didn't know anyone there, and I really regret not pushing myself uh, socially to go try new things. You can push yourself technically in school, but learning the soft skills from leadership and group projects is what really sets you apart and makes you a good engineer because you know how to talk to people, not only talk to projects. Uh, so I would recommend you join a bunch of organizations, whether they're aerospace, uh, other organizations on campus. I know UT has thousands of different clubs for any interest that you have. Um, and don't be afraid of talking to new people and trying new things. Everyone here in their first year is just trying to make friends too. Um, so don't be intimidated by that. Also, more realistically, when you're planning your classes, make sure to spread out the classes within a specific discipline. Uh, so there's classes on fluids and classes on structures and classes on feedback control and, and mathematical control systems. Um, so make sure you spread those out across your semesters because I decided to put all of my structures classes later in my degree plan, and now I'm taking uh, two or three of them my second semester senior year instead of spreading them out over my entire degree plan and getting a little more variety my last semester. Yeah.